everybody. Welcome to Timeless Fluid Art. I'm Janice. Um, I'm going to try and repeat a painting I did the other day that absolutely came out gorgeous, but the white ended up bubbling. So what I did this time is I added a little bit more of my pouring medium by Liquitex Basics. So let's see what happens here. And I have enough here to do two paintings, I think. If not, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, let me see. I'll add a little more on the outside because I don't really want to... Well, this is a lot of paint in here, but I'll be getting rid of some of it when I pour it out. And I do the pour. And thus, the painting's called Pouring Medium. All right, now, I'm not worried about smoothing out yet or anything like that. Um, the first color I'm going to put down is, this is, was all done in these beautiful metallics. This is like a light gold. And I'm going to start, I guess, um, hmm. I'm going to do a circle. I'm not going to do the half circle like I, I did before. I'm going to do sh more in the center here. All right, I've got my, I got smart. I put, took these out ahead of time without me having to chase the end. Okay, and this here is copper metallic. Throw that in there here. What's funny is the painting didn't have one bubble as far as in the colors, because I swiped it. Okay, and a little bit of my silver, which is just bubbling up here. Oh my God, good thing I gotta swipe this. Yeah, okay. And I think I'll do a little bit of my um, this is sapphire, sapphire metallics, all by Deco Art. The base coat is um, Glidden interior paint, and it is uh, what's the word I want to pull? Um, semi white, semi gloss white. All right, now I'm gonna do quite a bit here. This came out absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna show you while I let this settle a little bit. I mean, really, it came out just simply gorgeous. Let me grab this. These two are stuck together. Okay. I'm gonna let that settle in a little bit. And okay. This painting came out absolutely gorgeous. However, all the white is bumps, little bumps. I have to try to figure out how to correct that. So we shall see. I don't want to ruin this one, but if I have to, I could use a Dremel tool and probably cut the bottom section off because it is just simply gorgeous. Okay, uh, let me see what size I want. I can make this a little smaller. This is my packing material. It's the best thing I found to do swipes because the swipe, you have to be light enough, not too hard. You know, if you do it too hard, you don't, I mean, you'll really ruin your whole entire project. Now, see, these bubbles are not going to bother me because I'm swiping. So, let me get this. Now, I haven't even tested my whack, but I did this on December 29th, and today is 13th, 12th, 12th. Let me see what day it is. Yeah, it's January 12th. So this has been here all week. And mind you, I never have a problem with this. It should work. 
If it doesn't work, I will. But I'm pretty confident it will. So I'm putting my black on here. I even have older ones that were really work too. But I don't care. I want to make sure I get it all the way around. Okay. Okay, right here too. Alrighty. Move this out of the way. I just got the black there. And on me, oh my God, I wondered how I got that last time. And I'm just going to go down like this. And around. And around. And around. And off. Okay. Take that black off before it gets all over me. Oh my God. I always wonder how I got this on my arm the other day, but oh, this is coming out gorgeous as usual. I am simply in love with these colors together. All right, let me get my top. I've thrown away quite a few tops, so I make sure I grab it and put it on before it goes any further. I love these big sills, so that tells me I'm gonna have to slide some of this off here. So, and what I do like about this is, let me put some over here, is it's right, I mean, it's gorgeous. Let me just put that there. I just want to slide it all the way. I've got a little bit here. I guess put a little bit here. All right. Now I gotta be able to pick it up. Um, you know what, I'm gonna spin it first. Not hard. Just enough again to go in towards the ends. Okay. Alrighty, I guess I'm gonna start at this end. Because I want this to be more over here. God, this is gorgeous already. I love it. Okay, and I have my second layer on here. And I'm also going to be putting a third. I'll drop some of this off. I'll drop some of this off over here. That's my husband behind me. Can you reach, honey? Okay. He's so good. My can opener had broken. I said, honey, you think you could fix it? I had already ordered another one to replace it, but he ended up fixing it. I was like, oh my God, this is so exciting. He's so good. He's so smart. He knows everything. He can do anything, really. Okay, I want to just get some more of this. All right. All right, now the best one is taking this one off, and this one, and this one, and this one. I'm folding it up, folding it. And I'm going to put another one right here on top of this one okay now this is when you change your gloves because you do not want to get strings on your painting and you know how i know it should be done at this point because i've done it many times and it's very important that you do use a mask i'm not wearing one today but when I mixed all the paint the other day, which by the way is also about the 29th or max, actually, well, a week ago, maybe sometime last week, I can't remember when I did that. My last painting, last, last two paintings you see up on the, on the screen on YouTube. Now, some people go, why are you using the comb? Because they love it the way it is. I can't help myself. I really just like, I'm just not going to do as enough, a lot of them. Let's put it that way. I may just do swizzles in here just to avoid any bubbles. Because those bubbles really, that, mad, oh, that got me mad. I'm telling you right now. I was so mad. Really. <laughs> I don't like to have something happen to my paintings. Far and few in between have I had anything go wrong. And uh, 
Can you still see everything? Yeah, I think you can. I can't see you, so I don't know what you're seeing. I'm hoping you're seeing. I've gone back and looked at tapes, and I'm like, oh, hell. You hardly saw anything. So, let me see. Do I need to move you a little bit? Maybe that way? And this way? Something like that. All right, now, I'm not going to use the comb, so don't panic. I'm going to use my little tool here, which is a cooking utensil, or you do something with baking with it. You know, I have no idea. I just want to get rid of these edges because the way the edges are, it's kind of blurry. I don't like that at all. Okie dokie. And then I'm going to do some swirls just within here. You'll have designs, but you won't have bubbles. At least I hope not. Oh, there's a bubble right there. I have to go to slowly. Okay. There's no silicone in here. It's just a cell activator that's doing this. And this, I love it. But I really want to stroke it a little bit. I'm going to go right here. Hope that closes up. I guess it will. Yeah. It's starting to. Right. Yeah, that's going to be a, that's a deep one here. All right. I don't like that, so I'm going to go like this. There's some black under there. Why? Okay, it's starting to close. It's like waiting for an incision to finally close. Okay. And I'm going to do over here. Very light. And then these are going to go like this. It's very thick. Which is the way I like it. it. Takes a little time to dry, but it ends up looking beautiful. See, I like that. Gives a little je ne sais quoi. Now I'm going to do this side too. Okay. Let me wait for that to close up too. See, I love the squiggly, so I'm going to go like this. It's like flowers, you always get three of a kind. You never have four. But now we have scoot this around here. Wonderful. All right, now I'm going to see what else I can dip off. I may not have any room to let it fall off, so let's see. I hate when it sticks on the side. Kind of screws it up. Alrighty, that is it done. And I need to get a little paint on this side for the side. Mm. Now just do it like this. Yeah. It's too dark, too black. Then go with the rest. Alrighty. And I have one more piece over here. Nope, I think that's good. All right, this is gorgeous. It really is gorgeous, man. Love it. Now I don't want it to bubble. I hope not. I really don't want to see it bubble. So let me now wipe the back. And by the way, I, I clean these ahead of times with these little pamper thingies, pamper wipes. I, I cleaned the front and the back because I didn't want anything that would cause any type of bubble. You'd be amazed what you can do. 
ahead of time so you don't get bubbles. So I'm going to basically assume that I'm going to have no bubbles. But you know what assume means, you know? All right. Put this over here to dry. Okay, here's the first one. Absolutely beautiful. I've got to get no shadow here or something here. Here we go. And you can see the metallics. Absolutely gorgeous. That's, oh, love, love, love this one. All right, then let me bring over, well, no. I, it's absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll check back with you later. Bye.